Hello again, Front Ensemble and Pit Friends. Today I just want to talk about alternating mallets, alternating sticks. Uh, it might seem obvious that you can play more notes and faster, um, you know, especially when you're doing scale passages with two mallets, right, left, right, left, right, left. This could be just obvious, but there are other reasons that we do this too. Evenness of sound, we have a matched grip, matching the sound, matching the speed, matching the volume and the intensity of the, of the stroke. Another thing that can in, inadvertently happen, you know, an unintentional aspect, if you played several right hands in a row, the first one might be strong, the second one could be softer, and then as you go farther in, it just gets inconsistent on your volume and might even uh, cause some incorrect notes to be played. So you want to always alternate sticks. My first example is going to be just the nine note scale. I'll play this with just one hand, and then I'll play it with two. And you can see I can play it more evenly with two. I can also play it faster with two. All right, here we go. Now let's look at a phrase from Foundry. It's just a simple two beat 16th note passage, one e and a two e and a three, or in this case, it's three e and a four e and a one. When we play this phrase, it would be impossible to play it at speed, which is quarter note equals 148. We could not possibly play that with one hand. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, if the person could do that, they're a fantastic musician. But again, you would have those inconsistency issues with volume and stroke and possibly even some wrong notes played. So let's see the passage played um, with the alternating sticking, and you can see how much quicker I can go with right hand, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. And I almost always start with the right, because this will match the same sticking that the snare line or the entire battery is doing. Here we go on this little excerpt from Foundry. Okay, so we've done this with alternating sticking, uh, right, left, right, left, right, left. There is just one spot I wanted to point out in Foundry. If you're looking at this and say, oh my God, this would be incredibly hard to play with alternating sticking, you are correct. So at measure 27 in Foundry, I would recommend using four mallets, okay? And this is in your left hand, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, all right? So what we're gonna do is four, three, two, one to start with and stay with those notes. Four, three, two, one, and then two, three, one, two is the pattern. Okay, and that repeats in measure 29, again in measure 31, and again in measure 33 with a slight ending at the end of 34 to get to mallets two and three for the very last note um, on the B flat, there, or the E and B. Um, so take a look at this. This is one that uses four mallets for our marimba players at measure 27 of Foundry. I hope you're having some fun on your musical journey. Make sure you play a little bit every day. You will get better if you practice every day. Hope to see you in person soon. Stay safe, stay well, wear a mask.